Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about why most people, when they get older, what are some common reasons that they quit magic. I bought many, many magic collections from people around my age. One reason, they want to maybe buy a home. So magic is quite interesting because they can put a down deposit on a home. Another is their playgroup. Probably the most common I've seen is they haven't played Magic in a long, long time. And therefore, you know, hey, they are not really that intrigued by it anymore because they don't have an active playgroup or they cannot find an active playgroup. Probably the number one reason people quit Magic uh, with a larger collection there's other reasons, many of them financial. Finances definitely have a lot to do with whether or not you can afford Magic the Gathering. Some people feel like it's too expensive, or they don't really understand the new Magic cards, so they're forced to sell and they don't really want to buy. The only way that you can really quit Magic is if you just sell everything. If you sell everything, you might have a chance of quitting Magic, but if you hold on to something, you will inevitably come back to Magic. Now. As an investment, it's definitely not that. It's there's so many better things to put money in: stocks, bonds, S and P five hundred, uh, real estate. I would even suggest that, like, if you want something a little bit riskier, right? Bitcoin seems legitimate to me. Now, not every crypto. I'm not saying crypto zoo. I'm saying Bitcoin and only Bitcoin. If you want something that goes up and down more aggressively every single day, or it's more volatility both ways the other thing i would really suggest is that in terms of investing in in, in non-magic don't uh, we've seen lately that one piece flesh and blood uh, that box that you saw for 40 dollars plus shipping of course that box at one point in time alpha investment was selling two of them for a thousand dollars Something like this is too vol. I mean, there, there are very few stocks that go from five hundred dollars to forty dollars in the time frame. Like we're talking about, like Peloton levels of decimation, and it, it just doesn't. Or Tesla, I guess Tesla would be another. Good, but even Tesla doesn't go down that much, right? And, and good luck selling for forty dollars. So if there's a guy with many reviews and he's selling it for that amount of money. Well, good luck trying to sell it for $40 because you're going to have a lot of trouble doing so. The other things that uh, we can talk about MetaZoo, you know, they want to say that MetaZoo is doing well. That's just simply not true. Um, there's no, at this moment in time, there's no future for MetaZoo. There's no demand for MetaZoo. And in all honesty, I don't really see how they can recover from this. Uh, a lot of times when people are when people are hyping something up as much as they hype this up and they, I mean absolutely they hyped it up it's because they're making a lot of money like a lot of money so we talk about Disney Olcana we talk about uh, One Piece a little bit more Flesh and Blood Meta Zoo Sorcery the list can go on and on these are card games that are not the top free card games the top free card games, the reason they're so interesting is because of how long they've existed. Magic 30th, right? They had its 30th anniversary. Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! both 25 plus years old. They had their 25th anniversaries. They've been around a long time. And they've done a fairly good job of their IP. Okay? I don't trust Bandai at all. Bandai has a very, very bad record with, with a lot of things, but specifically has a bad record with their card games, Digimon. MetaZoo has almost no record of doing anything, and now their record's bad. They've taken all these pre-orders, and they refuse to pay people back what they paid. So, I mean, the common sense would tell you if you cannot fulfill a pre-order, at least refund everyone their money. Please do not spend, spend their money. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's one... Ah, man... Kickstarter life, right? Where you just uh, fund something that doesn't currently exist, hoping it will exist in the future so you can get uh, a little bit extra, you know, bonus, right? Like a promo card or something extra. 
I think the times that people think if, if you follow sports cards and you follow the nationals the times that people think that oh these things are really really great investments like has gone sports card investor no longer so he's he's a big guy sports card investor no longer is promoting that he's an investor yes i know it sounds very strange right sports card investor is now a collector he says he is a collector of things and i think that's kind of interesting to know to know that probably the biggest guy in the sports card collect or investing realm has now shifted his uh, he shifted his branding which is very important to him and now he wants to be known as a collector of things he's no longer an investor of things he's a collector of things uh, and that should probably be a very important thing right so back to back to something where it is a truly interesting dilemma i have a lot of cards and they're not going up in price they continue to go down in price no matter how many people say they go up in price and you can't really dump them on the market because you would be destroying your own market <laughs> you know so that that's not great um that's not great at all and there's not much demand for it there's I mean, if you look at YouTube channels, right, they're not all doing very well right now. Magic is not super popular right now. And it makes sense. A recession is coming right now. And I, I totally get it. Recession fears. Like, if you type in recession, it's all these, um, it's all these things. Are we in a recession? Economic black swan. Limited U.S. Re re recession risk and so on. Stocks crash on recession fears. As Fed is seizing defeat from the jaws of victory. Recession fears rattle U.S. stock market. Can Wall Street great rotation? I, I just read somewhere else where a shit ton of people were being laid or laid off last Friday. Bungie, right? Sony's Bungie faces reckoning after mass layoffs. Intel lay off 15,000 employees. San Francisco biotech firm worth $1.3 billion lay off 141 employees. And then you got some like advice from these self-made millionaires. Hmm. I don't think it's good. I don't think this is a like, good stuff, right? I, I really don't think this is a bimbo bakeries layoff in San Antonio, second largest this year. The bakery company, Kinzen Manufacturing, announces layoff. Store oh, I was watching a CVS and Walgreens episode on Millennial or something. And they were saying, like, CVS and Walgreens are going to all close down. They're going to close down a ton. Like, we're talking about 50% of their shops. Yeah. No warning, no explanation. Former Microsoft India employee talks about his layoff. So that's uh, in India. They're getting laid off as well. Biopharmacal layoff tracker. You can, I don't know any of these companies. I think you gotta like hold on to money now because these deals will come if you have the money. 